Hi, my name is Dr. John DeYard, and I want to talk to you today about gluten. Can we digest it? Should we digest it? You know, what's gluten's purpose on this planet? I want to talk to you today from the scientific perspective. The references are in the article associated with this video. Uh, from a logical Ayurvedic perspective, it makes some sense out of this grain. First of all, it was harvested in the fall originally, not every, not three times a year, to be eaten in the fall or in the winter. It was a heavy, glutinous, sticky grain to help insulate, very hard to digest grain. In the winter, Ayurvedically, the digestive fire is increased. In the summer, it's less. The foods are cooked on the vine, so we don't have to eat foods, digest foods, cook foods inside of us in a hot summer you know, months, and therefore possibly overheat. It's part of our survival to not have to overheat in the summer. In the winter, rules change. Our bugs change. Our microbes dramatically change in the winter if we eat seasonally. The digestive strength increases. The ability to digest gluten and other hard digest foods like other grains and meats and, and proteins and fats are more available for us and we're able to pull it off in the winter as we can't in the summer. Eating uh, wheat that's been, you know, that's been harvested two or three times a year has a significantly higher glycemic index. The glycemic index of wheat is in the 70s, which means it gets into your blood as sugar very fast. White table sugar's glycemic index is a 59, which is crazy. You think of a loaf of a piece of bread is actually worse for you than table sugar. Um, so that's what's happened to the wheat, and maybe the wheat belly issues we complain of are actually more sugar belly issues, and we need to look at that as a possibility. Not to say that if we don't digest gluten well, and a lot of folks don't, that it goes through the intestinal tract undigested, which it shouldn't, um, probably because we've overdone it. We've eaten it every day of the year for 30, 40, 50 years, you know, three times a day. We've overwhelmed our ability to pull it off and we don't digest it efficiently. It, it impacts the intestinal villi, separates them, causes a leaky gut type of syndrome that gets toxins. These proteins go into your lymph. They congest your lymph. They bloat your lymph. Your belly bloats. It goes and causes brain fog, tiredness, lethargy, achiness. These are all classic lymphatic congestive symptoms due to poor digestion in Ayurveda, and they're relatively simple to fix. Now, we know, we have good studies to show that there are there are backup plans for digesting gluten. It all starts with your digestive fire. Your digestive fire should make a lot of acid, and that acid helps break down the protein initially. But then in the small intestine, in the duodenum, in the, in the, the bile flow, the pancreatic enzyme, they all have this team effort to break down some of these harder to digest proteins very, very well. The dipeptidyl uh, peptidase number four, which is the gluten breaking down enzyme, which is produced in your, in your small intestine and in your pancreas, it'll break down the gluten molecule, particularly the very hard to break down part of the, glucal, glu, uh, the, glu, the uh, gluten molecule called the, um, the proline epitopes, which are the parts of the gluten molecule that are just, we don't have a lot of juice to break it down. But we have backup plans for that. Um, we have enzyme, we have probiotics, for example, natural microbes in our gut, one called lactobacillus platerum and others that have been proven to break down these hard to digest gluten molecules. And I have studies to back that up. So we have, we have probiotics naturally occurring in our gut that should pull this off. So it's sort of this team effort. And if one of the systems gets overwhelmed, we have a backup. If they all get overwhelmed, because we have stress that takes out our good bugs. We know that stress and toxicity take out the, the, the gluten digesting enzymes. I've got studies to back that up. So we have a lot of issues that make us more vulnerable to not breaking down the gluten very well. Not to mention we've overdone it in an, and we've hybridized it to the point where it's become uh, a different grain. Not to say that the gluten today is harder to digest than the gluten of yesterday. Ancient wheat was actually had two to three times the gluten than the gluten does today. So the ancient folks, they had some crazy good digestion to be able to pull that off, but they didn't do it every day, every day. They did it in a seasonal manner. So when we look at resetting our ability to digest gluten, I don't care. Gluten is not a requirement for us to be healthy, but poor digestion is because your digestive system is basically the same system as your detoxification system. If you don't digest well, you don't detoxify well. So if you have trouble eating gluten and you once were able to, those, those, that gluten inability to digest that may be mean, might mean that you're not digesting or processing toxins
toxins that are going into your digestion, into your lymph, into your blood, into your fat, and even to your brain. And 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road, they might actually show that there's toxicity issues related to what's actually ailing you down the road. And that's my concern. We're all about, in, at LifeSwell, resetting digestive strength. It doesn't matter if you eat wheat or dairy again ever in your life. But most folks, if we do it right, have the capacity with this coordinated effort of enzymes, which are well documented by science, that we can pull this off. Not in a every day, three times a day for the rest of your life kind of a way, but good gluten in a, in a, in a moderate way can be done, but you gotta reset your digestive system. And, if, and that's, that is an option. Like I said, the key piece is get yourself to be a better digester. Please check out this article where I write in some great detail with some uh, pretty good scientific references to show you that, yeah, we can pull this off, but let's get that digestion back on track so we can actually do it. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Deere. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. 